Hello everybody. Today's class is on alpha diversity. Now, what do you exactly mean by alpha diversity? Well, it's actually quite simple. If you're going to some places like your home, let's take your home and you find some animals there. Like whatever it may be, a dog, a cat, the organisms found in that area specifically, we can say it's the alpha diversity of that region. So what else we can say? According to Whittaker, he refers it as the diversity within a particular area or ecosystem. A particular area or ecosystem, that place to have those organisms found in that place itself. That particular type of diversity classification is called as alpha diversity. It is usually expressed in numbers of species or by numbers of species. It is the species richness of that area. So that is exactly what you can call it as alpha diversity. So I will go through even more examples later on in some other videos uh, by comparing other two or three things like uh, alpha, beta and gamma diversity. You, know, you can check the completed video separately that also will help and in this picture you can see there's an elephant there's a giraffe there's a rhino and few other organisms that are found in that particular area so what is the alpha diversity of that region just count the different types of animals here it is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven there are eleven organisms particular species 11 particular species so the alpha diversity of this region is 11 now do check the other videos on beta diversity and gamma diversity to better verify your own uh, concept and there will be an also another video perhaps uh, using an example uh, that we can use uh, to make this topic more clear and remember this topic is mainly used in projects where diversity studies are conducted. So I am hoping you are having a good day and thank you.